have to find the inverse Laplace transform of all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do it. Solution. There's a couple formulas we'll need, so I'll write them down really quickly. So the inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the n plus 1. This guy is equal to t to the n. And then the inverse Laplace of s over s squared plus k squared. This is equal to cosine kt. And the formula for sine is very similar, the inverse Laplace. The only difference is you have a number, so you have the k up top. If you have the s up top, it's cosine, so it's pretty easy to memorize. And so this is the sine of kt. So really easy to memorize. Cosine has the s up top, sine doesn't. And if you have a minus sign here, that's when you get to the hyperbolics. OK. So in this case, we know that the inverse Laplace is linear. So what we can do, well, not in this case, it always is, <laughs> is break everything up. So minus inverse Laplace of 1 over s to the fourth. And then same thing here, plus inverse Laplace of, now, well, I'll leave it for now, but we can think of 81 as 9 squared, so I'll go ahead and write it that way. That way it, it matches the, the formulas, right? It'll match this formula here. And then here, this 3, we can, we can pull it out or leave it in. Uh, in this case, you're going to see in a minute, it's beneficial to leave it in. So I'll go ahead and leave the 3 in. So this is s squared plus 3 squared. That's a coincidence because I just made this up. I haven't worked it out, so I'm glad it's a 3. Okay, so here we have a 5. So up here we want to have a 4 factorial, right? We always want to have one less. You'll notice in the formula we have m plus 1, and here we have one less, which is n. But we also have the factorial. So this is the Laplace inverse, or inverse Laplace. And we have a 5, so we want one less factorial. So 4 factorial over s to the fifth. But you can't just put a 4 factorial there, you got to get rid of it. So we'll multiply by 1 over 4 factorial. Minus, same thing here. Here we have a 4, we want 1 less factorial. So 3 factorial, and then s to the fourth. But we got to get rid of it, so it's 1 over 3 factorial. And this guy is good to go. We have the s, so we know it's cosine. So it's going to be plus cosine of 90, because k is equal to 9, right? k is 9 in this case. And in this case, k is 3. And we have a number up top, so and there's our k. So it's going to be sine, so sine of 3t. Let's go ahead and finish. 4 factorial is 24, so this is 1 over 24. This is our n. So this whole thing here is just going to be t to the n, so t to the fourth. So n is 4 in this case. Uh, over here, 3 factorial is 6, so we get 1 over 6. And this piece here, that's our n, so it's going to be t cubed. And we still have these trig functions, so plus cosine of 9t minus the sine of 3t. So decent practice. Uh, hopefully this, this video uh, helps.